Hi guys! So, as you can tell, today is going to be a makeup transformation video inspired by Marge Simpson. One of the most requested makeup looks lately. You guys have been sending me pictures of this awesome makeup transformation. And of course, this was done by a whole team of professional makeup artists, but today I'm going to try to do it all by myself. Inspired by the American TV show The Simpsons from the late 90s. So, let's see if we could do this. So first of all, I'm going to put my hair in a low ponytail, kind of like a bun. And just so you know, I am not completely naked. I do have a tube top on. And then of course, we're going to start off with our eyebrows and make them kind of go away. Putting some Elmer's glue on your eyebrows, letting it dry a little bit, get tacky. So that you could put some translucent powder. This is the most authentic translucent powder I have ever found by Tarte. Then put another layer of glue, glob that on, let it get tacky and then do another layer of the translucent powder. And then I'm gonna get a brown eyeliner in a random round glass. I think this one's the perfect shape for Marge Simpson's big round animated bubble eyes. We're gonna use this as a tracing method to use the brown eyeliner, trace the outsides of the eyeballs. You want something that's around the same size as the makeup look that they did before. And then we're gonna trace Marge's mouth and do lines outside from the corners of our original mouth to almost the outside of the eyeballs that we traced on. Then to give our skin that yellow pigment, we're gonna use Ben Nye's Aqua Paint in the yellow color with a damp aqua sponge. And you're gonna start patting that on the center of your forehead and do it all over your face. I find that it's better to pat with the sponge than swiping it on because it doesn't leave streak marks and it gives more of a concise application like it won't get inside of those eye trace marks that we did. You can cover the mouth lines because we'll still be able to see it but don't cover the inside of those giant eyeballs we drew on. You're going to want to get this on the inside of your ears as well. You're also going to want to take this pigment down your neck. And finally, you're also going to want to paint in dabbing motions again all on your chest and your shoulders. You could take this as far as you want. You could do your whole arms or hands if you want to, but we're just going to do down to our chest and shoulders. For the sake of this video and time, girl, we don't have all day. To your hairline, don't put this in your hair. And once you think you got an even layer of paint, you're going to want to let that dry. And so once that layer is dry, you're going to want to do another additional second layer of the yellow paint. This honestly feels actually really good because it's super hot weather here in California. So in the summertime, it might dry faster and it'll feel a lot cooler on your skin if you're using aqua paints instead of oil base for this base of the makeup look. Again, dabbing motions and make sure you don't do swiping harsh streak marks. You're going to want to get every area that is being shown or like I said, down to your arms if you really want to try to do that. You're going to look like you just took a bath in a tub full of mustard once you're done. This is the time where you get some makeup remover and get rid of some excess makeup around your eyes if you want. Or even a little bit on your hairline because we're going to get some blue pigmented makeup. This is my Makeup Forever Flash Palette with a paintbrush and start painting in Marge's fringe like her little bangs and curly cues on the edge of her hairline. You might want to do it in patting motion so that you don't blend in the blue and yellow to make green. You want it to be very pigmented, deep, dark blue. Like I said, you could get makeup remover and go over the yellow to make the fringe instead of like getting a green hue because we are going to put on a blue type of hair look later. So once you think that the fringe and bangs of Marge is good enough, you're going to want to start on the eyes. I'm getting Ben Nye's White Clown Makeup with a damp triangle sponge. And then I'm just going to pack that very thick on the eyebrows so that we could hide them more since we now have a flat surface to work on. And around the rest of this first eye. And once you think you got that first eye all filled in, you're going to want to move on to the other eye. Same as you did the first one, you might want to switch over to a paintbrush instead of the triangle sponge with the white makeup so they get more precise lines on the outside of the eye. You can also paint your eyelashes, but do not get this oil-based paint in your eyeball. That would hurt so bad. Make sure not to mix the mustard with the milk. What I mean is do not mix the yellow paint with the white paint. Steady as you go. And once you have both those eyes filled in with the white, 
You're going to want to get that translucent powder again with the brush and start patting that on the whites of the eyes so that we can have a solid base and that won't mix with any other paints we put on top of it. And once you patted both the eyes with the translucent powder, you can move on with the rest of the look by getting a black pigment makeup. This is the Makeup Forever, but you can use black lipstick or a liquid black eyeliner. But I'm using the black makeup with a very thin paintbrush and doing the outlines of the eyeballs. This is going to give it that animated look. All the cartoon animations on The Simpsons, including Marge herself, had very, I mean, animated faces with those drawn on black lines outlining her eyeballs. Do both sides and you're going to want to do the eyelashes. She has four eyelashes on each eye and this is going to make the eyes stand out more. The black line just make it pop. And then you're going to do the pupil of the eyes. With that same black makeup in the thin paintbrush, this is very, very tricky to do. You're going to want to keep referring back to your mirror and the picture to see just how tiny Marge's pupils are. Once those pupils are in the center of the eyes and you think that they look good, you're going to want to get a matte black eyeshadow with a very tiny, this is a pencil eyeshadow brush, and pat it on those black pupils that we drew on. And once you think those pupils are in the center and look fine, you're going to want to get that thin paintbrush again with the black and paint on her mouth. That outline that we drew before, you could probably still see it under the two layers of yellow paint. And just trace that from the corners of your mouth. Do her little grin. If you make a mistake on the lips because they might be a little bit dry, the skin so they have grooves so it's easier to make a mistake you just get some yellow paint and fix it and now that you're completely done with all the makeup we are not done yet of course Marge needs her blue hair so I'm just gonna get a wig cap but this is a stocking because I still need to buy a wig cap priorities I have none so the ghetto version of a wig cap put that on bobby pin it to your head then put the wig on. This was a wig from a previous video in a Halloween store that I sprayed with temporary blue hair dye. You want to line that up with her bangs that we painted on before. If you notice that Marge has some gray hair, girl, she is aging a little bit. No, but I had to, of course, spray paint the gray wig blue. And I only had enough to do the front of it. And I'm just going to go wild with some bobby pins to make sure my hair from underneath isn't peeking through. And to finally complete the look, Marge needs her orange pearl necklace, of course. And that completes Marge Simpson's entire look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that I did Marge Simpson justice. I know that looks a little bit ratchet from the sides, but as long as the front looks good, I mean, the original makeup artist picture reference that you guys have been sending me for this look is so professionally done. It was like a whole team of people, but I wanted to try to do it myself. I hope I accomplished it well for you guys, and I better take time to take this off because my eye makeup was literally melting off my face. All the products I used in this video will be listed down below. Thank you so, so much for watching. You guys make this so much fun for me. Let me know what other makeup transformations you would like to see in the future. You can tweet them at me at CatSketch if you follow me there. That's the first place where I always post my videos first before anything else. I always have Facebook, Instagram, and all those sites. Links will be down below. This was so tough to take off. I think I'm still going to have yellow tinted skin and inside of my ears for the whole week. It took four or five makeup wipes, around five or six baby wipes, a thorough shower and scrubbing, but it was so worth it. I love you guys so much and thank you for spending time with me today. I better get going. See you soon. Bye.